bad day here is better than a really, really good day in Kunar for most people. You couldn't understand what this combat crap is, you know. It's survival. It's kill or be killed. Yeah. You, don't, you don't want to be there, but you damn well better be good at it. Mm -hmm. We were just there for a year to do our job and, and get home. And the only way to do that is you, you better be you better be good and you better win every battle. We look over the mountains and there's a flight of aircraft coming in. A big flight. And what the hell are they doing on Sunday? The Navy dive bombing, practice dive bombing? They're nuts! All of a sudden we hear boom. One big explosion. And Max says, that ain't practice bombs. We meet with hundreds of ships going to Mungam Gulf on the low side. We get just about straight out from Manila and here comes a huge air attack, including Gamakasis. And uh, at first it was exciting mm -hmm. until I start seeing all these bodies coming aboard. We basically annihilated a Vietnamese, a VC training battalion. It was a one-day battle. At the end of the day, we had we had killed probably close to 100. We had taken maybe 20 or 30 prisoners. We had captured 50, 60 weapons. We took three wounded in that operation. The order was get out there. So you had 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. you know, get a team together. We got a chopper coming in for you. It was like six o'clock in the morning. It's full daylight in Vietnam. You know, uh, I'm just running around thinking, my God, how do you pick guys that are going to go to their death? Good for us is getting to shore. We have to get to shore. My point of getting to shore is get in, dig in. Because this is the only way you're going to stay alive, is dig in. When our ship was hit, they asked for a volunteer who wants to go below decks and see what the conditions are. That was pretty tough. All of these guys were dead, lying on their bunks, and I just couldn't believe all of that, looking at that. Everything that we had was destroyed and melted, the aluminum lockers were melted down to the floor. And it was just fortunate that the diaries happened to be in my pocket. Otherwise, they'd have been gone too. And we were um, attacked by a battalion of Chinese three times. And when the Chinese come out, they say, stand by for TOT, stand by, fire. What they want to do is they want to bring up the whole valley at once. And there's nowhere to hide, there's no place to go, to just, you, you can see the devastation. But we held Old Baldy the 3rd of July, onto the 4th of July. Lost a lot of people. This is nothing like the movie, like John Wayne. You yeah. know, it's, what is, these people are crazy. They're killing you. Yeah. You know, all that goes through you, your mind. But, you know, your only chance of surviving is firepower, teamwork, mm -hmm. and keep up. I volunteered to help this country to be what it is and to protect it at all costs, period. Yes, I fought a war, but more importantly, I served.